over here to see some burns. So when it comes to burns, what causes the burn actually matters. So I want you to imagine that this cake represents your skin. And then over here, we have some food coloring. So this, you can imagine, is actually boiling water. Now, if the boiling water gets on your skin, it's gonna hurt, it's gonna cause a burn, right? But it's unlikely to penetrate very deeply into the skin. But, now imagine that this red food coloring represents boiling oil or boiling grease. Now this, if it splashes on your skin, it's actually gonna penetrate even deeper into the skin and it's much more likely to leave you with a scar. So when you think about burns, let's, we usually categorize them into first degree, second degree, third, and third degree burns. Let's take a look at an image of what a first degree burn looks like. So this sort of looks or reminds me of a sunburn. It stays in the superficial layers of the skin. It usually, it's red, it's tender. This it, is the one you get from the days. oven racks, like these. I, I was gonna say, Rachel <laughs> We didn't really a need a graphic for this. Burns. You could just look at grasshopper over here from Graphic number food. one, yeah. Rachel's right arm. Right, yeah. Um, all right, so this is a second degree burn. Okay, so second degree burns, they go deeper into the skin. These are the ones that tend to blister, everyone's saying ouch. And then the blister breaks, it just keeps falling off every time you get in the shower. It's really gross. <laughs> um, so here we have a third degree burn. So you guys, if your skin looks anything like this, okay, you are calling 911, you are going to the ER. Signs of a third degree burn could be, it could be a white waxy appearance, it could turn dark brown, you could get almost like a char on the surface of your skin. So what do you do if you get a burn at home? So Dr. Anish. Can I, he's like the survived, demo guy. I survived today. my choking episode, so, so I'm let's ready to imagine go. that you have burned your arm over here. Okay. All right, so here we're gonna run it under water okay. for about 10 minutes. You wanna cool the burn. You gotta cool the burn. And cool water is good enough. You do not wanna use an ice cube. If you use an ice cube, that it can burn more. Extreme correct? temperature can actually cause more damage. And step over here into my little laboratory over here. Yeah. So you wanna then, once you've cooled the burn for about 10 minutes, you wanna pat it dry and then you want to apply either a thin coat of petroleum jelly, or what I like to do is I like to use aloe. 